In this video, I will show how to use the navigation drawer in the Zpack Compose. I'm using uh, the Compose version 1.1.1, 1 .1 uh, which is the latest one, and I'm using the Material 3 Compose Alpha library. Main activity is a launcher activity, and this activity has uh, launched the first composable function is main page. Main page uh, composable create a UI uh, with, uh, with the app bar and content area. App bar is uh, titled with the navigation driver. In content area, uh, I have used the nav host, which is the navig. It is it is used for the navigation between the composables. There are three composable: home page, about page, and setting page. Home page is just a simple page with uh, this with, with the text composable with the home page content in the center and about page is the same as the home with the center text with about page content like that setting setting page i will uh, wrap the drawer composable with scroll fold so right now scroll fold has no any uh, drawer you can see this in this app there is no any composable drawer so i will edit it here in main page you can also download this source code which uh, from the bitbucket i will give you this link in video description in zpack there is a composable uh, which is model navigation drawer model na navigation drawer by you using you can create a drawer ui in that there is a property drawer content uh, which accept the any composable where you can define the ui for that but right now i will keep it empty and it also provide the content area by the lambda function here i will use the scroll fold composable so drawer will be overlap on app bar there is a scroll fold so i will want it comes in in the content area of this navigation drawer so i will cut it from here and paste it here now let's run this code in android simulator the application is running in the android emulator let's drag the composable it's you can see that this drawer content is empty because we intentionally put it empty and you can see that we have uh, there is no any icon out there so uh, next step i will add this there is an icon and on this on click we will open this drawer programmatically by drawer state you can open or close the drawer programmatically and uh, you can get it by remember state method let's create drawer state object Drawer state, and you can get by the remember drawer, drawer state uh, where you can uh, set the initial value of the drawer. I will put closed, and and you have to set this state here. Drawer state. You could drawer state. Okay. Uh, let's create a menu icon in navigation icon in a small top app bar there is a property of navigation icon it is also accept the composable 
so i will use the icon button composable and it's on click right now i put empty and and its content area i will use the icon composable and use the icon filled with menu and set the content description draw menu okay right now i, I have uh, used the navigation icon property of this small top app bar in navigation icon i, I have used the icon button composable and its content area i will you use the menu icon now when user click on the icon button i have to open this drawer programmatically so i will use the drawer state first of all i will check the draw initial drawer state status is closed if it is it, it, it is closed then i will open and if it is open then i will close we have to also be use the coretin scope so we can also get this coretin scope coretin scope by the remember coretin coretin scope now change the drawer state value coretin dot launch this is method and it's launch i will for the drawer state open and in the else part i will close let's look again i have uh, used the drawer state and set it to model navigation drawer and create the coroutine scope and uh, i have created the navigation icon in top bar and it's on click i will first check if it is open then i will close the drawer state if it is closed then i will open the side menu let's Run this application on Android. Now the app is running in Android emulator. You can see that uh, this is a navigation icon, and it's on. It's click. It's open this navigation uh, side menu, and if I put uh, it close. Now let's add the navigation menu item here. provide some let's create then a, com a new composable function uh, where we have to add the navigation drawer items let's start the code now let's create, create the ui for the uh, drawer content i have already created the 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 composable function is uh, drawer content is take the nav controller and drawer state in drawer content it is create a column scope in first place i have called the another composable function drawer header it's create a ui with the uh, pick of the uh, user and it below uh, put the name of the user and af after this put the email address of the user in drawer control content we put some space and uh, put the divider and after that 
I have called the navigation drawer item. This composable function has created the navigation drawer item. This navigation drawer item is provided by the Android X Compose dot Material three library. So it has the some properties like icon. It take the icon composable. In that this is a home menu item. So I, I have created the icon with the home icon. It take the label. I will put the uh, set the label name by using the text composable. There is a, another property is selected. If this menu item is selected, then it will be highlighted with the some color. So I have initially passed the nav controller. So by nav controller, uh, I can uh, check what is the current destination of this page. So if it is the home page, then it is selected. Otherwise, it is not selected. And it's on click. I have navigate to that page. If it is, I click on home page. It the nav controller navigate to home page by nav controller dot navigate, and I will use the root by root home page. And when user click on this menu item, I will close the navigation drawer by the call this drawer state dot close by you you using the code routine scope. After this, I put some space and create the another navigation drawer item, which is about. Set the icon for this navigation drawer item. Put the label for this, and check the current uh, destination route. If it's about page, then it will selected, and on this click, I will navigate to the about page by nav control dot navigate, and. I put some again space and then create a third navigation drawer item and put some icon put some uh, label and check again if it this uh, this route is selected or not and on its click we navigate to that page and close the drawer state that's it now let's run this code on android Now you can check. This is the door header in which I use my image, put the name of my and put the email address. Click on home. It navigate to home page and it is selected. Now I'm click on up about then it will give the nav controller to navigate to the about page and it's selected. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe this channel.